Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensan Augustine. And I welcome you to um, my lesson on differentiation. This is lesson 3. In this lesson, we are going to look at how to differentiate trigonometric functions using the chain rule. In lesson 2, we covered how to differentiate algebraic functions using the uh, chain rule. And this one, we'll be looking at how to differentiate trigonometric functions using the chain rule. So if you have not watched lesson 1, lesson 2, uh, kindly watch uh, those videos from the description. And it will help you a lot in your differentiation journey. So let's do the calculus 1. Now you know that if we have a y equal to u to the power n, where u is a function of x. Then, we are saying that y is a function of a function of what? x. So, we differentiate y with respect to us, x as a dy on du times du on dx. Now, if you consider our first example, y is equal to cosine of 2x. Then how are we going to use the chain rule? We are going to write let u equal to 2x then the derivative of u respect to x is equal to 2 and this implies that since u equal to 2x then we have y equal to cosine of u and that the derivative of y with respect to u is equal to negative sine u, which is equal to negative sine 2x. And now we are going to have the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of u with respect to x times the derivative of y with respect to u. So this will give us 2, that is the u dx, times negative sine 2x, and this will give us negative 2 sine 2x as the derivative of cosine of 2x with respect to x. Now we are going to take more examples to help you in your differentiation journey. Remember that uh, these YouTube videos will not exactly give you the questions that will come into your exams, but it will help you to solve the exam, the, your exams questions. So keep on watching because I'll be revealing more secrets as I go ahead. So we will do a lot of examples. So just keep on watching. But remember to, to subscribe to my channel. Now, let's take another example. We are going to take, um, we have our h of t is equal to um, sine 5t. So here we are going to let u equal to 5t and that the derivative of u with respect to t is 5 and this implies that we are going to have our h of t to be equal to sine u and here we have the derivative of h of t with respect to t is equal to cosine of u and that will give us cosine of 5t. So here the derivative of h of t with respect to t, who oh here is with respect to u, right? Mm -hmm. Respect to t is equal to the derivative of u with respect to t times the derivative of h of t with respect to u, and that will give us 5 
times cosine of 5t. That is very simple as that. Now, let us consider y equal to cosine to the power 7, 5x squared minus 6. That is, we are considering powers of trigonometric functions. Powers of trigonometric functions. So here, we are going to have y equal to cosine of 5x squared minus 6 all squared. Very simple as that. And here, we are going to let u to be equal to the inner function. That is cosine of 5x squared minus 6 and that we have y is equal to u squared oh sorry this is to the power 7 right so here we can just differentiate this very simple so we have the derivative of y with respect to u to be equal to 7u to the power 6 and uh, this is the same as 7 times u, and u is a cosine of 5x squared minus 6. Please don't put the power 6 on this, because there's a difference between cosine of x, this is the squares on the x, is not equal to cosine of x all squared. Here, this means that square x. And after that, you find the cosine of the answer. This means that find cosine of x and after that you square. So here, put this in brackets and bring the power 6. And if you do this one, that is this, is the same as writing cosine squared x. So here, you are going to clean this and bring the power 6 on top of the x here. So this is cosine, yes, that is how it is. So note it very carefully. Now let us take our u. You have u is equal to cosine of 5x squared minus 6. So this one, you use the chain rule to differentiate before you can get the derivative of u with respect to x. So we are let V to be equal to the inner function cosine of x squared minus 6 sorry 5x squared minus 6 5x squared minus 6 and that I'm going to have the derivative of V with respect to x is equal to 10x and this implies that u is equal to cosine of V and that the derivative of u with respect to v is equal to negative sine v and that is equal to negative sine v is 5x squared minus 6 wow so here this implies that the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to du dx is 10x, take 10x times du dv is minus sine 5x squared minus 6. So this will give us the negative 10x sine 5x squared minus 6. So now we have our dy du and have our du dx so we can find our dy on dx to be equal to dy du that is 7 cosine to the power 6 5x minus 5x squared minus 6 times du dx negative 10x we have sine into bracket 
5 x squared minus 6. And this will give us minus 70x into brackets, sorry, minus 70x cosine to the power 6, 5x squared minus 6, then sine into brackets 5x squared minus 6. So this is minus 70x cosine to the power 6. 5x squared minus 6 times sine into bracket 5x squared minus 6. Ask the derivative of y equal to cosine to the power 7 times, uh, times 5x squared minus uh, 6. Not times rather, cosine to the power 7, 5x squared minus 6. Now let's take uh, another example. Now let us consider, uh, say, uh, y is equal to sine uh, n into bracket a x squared plus b x plus c, and then differentiate. Here, we are going to have y is equal to sine into bracket a x squared plus b x plus c <coughs> here we are considering a b and c as constants that is a b and c are constants that is what we are going to consider a b and c are constant so here we will let u to be equal to sine into bracket a x squared plus bx plus c and that we have y is equal to u to the power n so this implies that the derivative of y with respect to u is equal to n u to the power n minus 1 which is the same as n times sine n ok let me do it like sine a x squared plus b x plus c all to the power n minus 1 or this is my u so this is the same as n times sine to the power n minus 1 a x squared plus b x plus c so that is what you've had there so here, if we take u to be equal to sine into bracket ax squared plus bx plus c, we are going to use the chain rule here to do the differentiation. So this one, I will let v to be equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, and that the derivative of v with respect to x is equal to 2ax plus b the derivative of this constant is zero so here since b equal to the inner function it follows that u is equal to sine v so here the derivative of u with respect to v is equal to cosine v and that is equal to cosine a x squared plus b x plus c now I can find my du on dx. So let's run it at the top here. du on dx is equal to dividing dx. That is 2ax plus b times du dividing. That is cosine of ax squared plus bx plus c as my du on dx so now I have du dx and dy du so I can multiply them together to get dy on dx so I'm going to have my dy on dx to be equal to 
the u on the x times the y on the u, which is equal to the u dx is 2ax plus b times cosine of ax squared plus bx plus c and the y du is n times sine to the, to the power n minus 1 ax squared plus bx plus c and this will give me n times 2ax plus b times cosine of ax squared plus bx plus c then sine to the power n minus 1 ax squared plus bx plus c wow as my dy on dx very simple as that so if you have uh, a function of this form this is where you are going to end at very simple as that so this is what the derivative of the power take function for what sine and the function here the algebraic function that we have here this is what a quadratic function so if you have a quadratic function here and the sign has a power you end up here okay so let's I'll take another example and then do the differentiation very simple as that let's take another example so if we consider um, this example if we consider I say y is equal to sine to the power 7 into bracket 5x squared minus 6x plus 2. Yes, let's do it. So here we have a let u to be equal to sine into bracket 5x squared plus 6x plus 2. Or you will not let you let us do the simplification first. Correct. So we have y is equal to we will let now u to be equal to sine into bracket 5x squared plus 6x plus 2. So let's do the differentiation for u. That will take us to chain rule. So here we let v to be equal to 5x squared plus 6x plus 2. Given on dx is equal to 10x plus 6, and that we have v is equal to sine. Sorry, we have u to be equal to sine v that is equal to the u on dx that is cosine of v, and that is cosine of 5x squared plus 6x plus 2. So here we have our dv dx and we have du dx. So du, we have du dv, right? Now. So we have du on dx to be equal to dv on dx dot du on dx. And that is 10x plus 6 times cosine of 5x squared plus 6x plus 2 as our du dx no du dv as our du dx now we said that u is equal to the inner function here which implies that okay let's let us here which implies that y is equal to u to the power 7 so the derivative of y with respect to u is 7 u to the power 6 that is 7 times sine to the power 6 and then u is 5x squared plus 6x plus 2 
So now we can take our dy on dx to be equal to du on dx times dy on du. And this is our du dx. And this is our dy du. So if we combine, we are going to have du dx to be 10x plus 6, then cosine of 5x squared plus 6x plus 2, and that dy du is 7 sine to the power 6, 5x squared plus 6x plus 2. So we send the 7 out here, and we are going to get 7 times 10x will give us 70x, 7 times 6 will give us 42. Then we are going to have cosine of 5x squared plus 6x sine to the power 6 into bracket. 5x squared plus 6x plus 2. Wow. So I've told you to uh, keep watching the video because I'm going to receive, re reveal more secrets that will help you. And I've already said that these examples may not be examples that you get in your exams, but it will help you to solve the exams that will come in your exams. So let's uh, keep on watching. Now, remember to share the videos uh, with your colleagues, with your friends, so that they also enjoy the better part of me. Okay, now, let us consider another question. We have done with sine and then cosine, so we can take tangent or uh, cotangent, or we can take uh, the secant and the rest. So uh, let us take a code second and see. Let us say that we have y is equal to cosecant ax squared cosecant a cosecant ax cosecant ax or even a is even if a is x squared. Uh, there is no problem with that. So here, what are we going to do? We are going to have, uh, you say that u to be equal to a x squared and the derivative of u respect to x is 2 a x. That is 2 a x. We have 2 a x there. And that, this implies that y is equal to Cosecant u and we are going to have dy on du to be equal to if we differentiate cosecant you get negative cosecant cotangent so we have negative cosecant u and then cotangent u which is the same as negative cosecant u is ax squared and we have cotangent of a x squared. That is our dy on du. And this is our du on dx. So here the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of u with respect to x times the derivative of y with respect to u. And this will give me 2ax times negative cosecant ax squared cotangent ax squared and that will give me negative 2ax squared my yeah the negative has come here so cosecant ax squared cotangent ax squared as the derivative now let's move on to uh more uh difficult and then ones and then we see what we do okay so let's take this one let's take this one Let's consider this one. If we consider y to be equal to 
coseconds to the power 5 then we have uh, 7 x squared minus 5 x plus 2 so here we are going to have y is equal to cosecant into bracket 7 x squared minus 5 x plus 2 all to the power 5 and here we will let u to be equal to cosecant 7 x squared minus 5 x plus 2 and here to take our du dx we have to use the chain rule here so you let then to be equal to 7x squared minus 5x plus 2. We have given on dx equal to 14x minus 5. So here this implies that this implies that u is equal to cosecant then and here du on ds is equal to negative cosecant v cotangent v and that will be a negative cosecant 5x sorry 7x squared minus 5x plus 2 and then we are going to have cotangent 7x squared minus 5x plus 2 as we do on dx so now we have a du on dx du on dv hey. we have a du on dv <laughs> that is that uh, at times that's what happens so we have our du on dv and we have our dv on dx we can take du on dx to be equal to dv dx that is a uh, 14x minus 5 times du dv that is negative cosecant 7x squared minus 5x plus 2 and cotangent 7x squared minus 5x plus 2 and this will give us negative into bracket 14x minus 5 cosecant um, 7x squared minus 5x plus 2 and then cotangent 7x squared minus 5x plus 2 as the solution as the solution Okay, let me take the duster from this part. Okay, I have my duster here. Wow, let's continue. Wow, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's take another example. Let's take uh, this one that we have uh, y is equal to, I'm going to take a uh, sec ax squared plus 5, where a is a constant. So here we will let u to be equal to ax squared plus 5 okay let me increase this to let's say 5 dx minus uh, 10 let me increase it so u to you got a and that's du on dx will be equal to a 2a x squared plus 5b so b and a are constants and that's we're going to have y is equal to secant u and that du on sorry dy on du will be equal to secant u 
tangent u. And that will give me secant ax squared plus 5bx minus 10 times tangent of ax squared plus 5b minus 10. Wow. Wow. So we are done. We have our du dx and we have our dy du. So dy on dx is equal to du on dx times dy on du and that will give us 2 times ax squared plus 5b times secant ax squared plus 5bx minus 10 times tangent of ax squared plus 5bx minus 10 and that is that. I hope we've done a lot of examples and uh, this will take us uh, very far. If not take a cotangent, so let's take a cotangent and then we are done. Let's take cotangent and we are done. So you use these tricks and it will help you to differentiate uh, any trigonometric uh, function. So let's say that we have uh, y is equal to cotangent of uh, 8 into bracket uh, 5 x squared minus 6. Let's take this one. We have y to be equal to cotangent of 5 x squared minus 6. You put all to the power 8 and you take u to be equal to cotangent of 5 x squared minus 6. And then you start to differentiate. Start to do the differentiation. So here, we are going to have, let's say, v to be equal to 5x squared. 5x squared minus 6 and have dv on dx to be equal to 10x. And that, this implies that u is equal to cotangent v and that du on the v will be equal to negative uh, secant oh, sorry negative cosecant squared v and that is negative cosecant squared v is a uh, 5x squared minus 6 okay. very simple as that um oh damn the mistake yeah, 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 that is second, second squared. If we differentiate that, cotangent x. Okay, that's why we have the, we have the second uh, squared. Let's let's uh, continue from that. Okay, negative cosecant squared. I didn't bring the negative. I didn't bring the negative there. Okay, so let's continue. So what do we do? We have our dv on dx. I have our du on dv. So here, dy on dx is equal to dv on dx dot du on dv. And that will give us 10x times negative co second squared 5x squared minus 6 and that will give us negative 10 x cosecant squared of 5x squared minus 6 wow very very simple as that thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel you can follow me on my facebook page maths with them and if you have any question, you can WhatsApp to me on my WhatsApp number plus two three three zero sorry two three three two four five three six zero seven nine three. You can follow me on my uh, Facebook page Maths. Wait. Vim. Math with Vim. Thank you for watching and 
Bye-bye.